Let's discuss one use case today. I have a function app which gets triggered whenever a service must message arrives in a queue and transforms and pushes it to the Cosmos TV. Let's take a look into the code. In the program.cs file, we have created a singleton instance corresponding to the Cosmos client in which we are providing the Cosmos TV connection. Now coming to the function app itself, in the function app instance, we have in the constructor a dependency which gets injected for Cosmos client. In the function app, we have a trigger based on service bus trigger which again takes a connection. Then we have some logging, then converting the message into the message content and finally creating a Cosmos DB object which gets pushed to the Cosmos DB container uh, once we have the instance of the Cosmos DB container done. At the end, we complete the message by calling complete message async. Now let's see this in action. In the message queue, as soon as I send a message, uh, you will see that as soon as the message lands into the queue, the function app got triggered. And in the function app, basically I see the logs and once it has completed execution, you'll see that if I refresh the Cosmos DB, I have a different message which says hi from developer first channel. That's it for today's session. Thank you for listening.